Hello and welcome to the pause screen. In gaming news this week, we have a popular indie game jumping to another platform, no sequel for The Last of Us, and the Australian video game Gatekeepers are at it again. First up today, Saints Row 4 has been denied classification by the Australian Classification Board under the new rating system put into place at the beginning of this year. What the fuck? To clear things up, that means that the game is offensive enough that the ACB didn't even think it deserved its highest rating and thus will not be available for sale in Australia. The ruling makes Saints Row 4 the first video game to be denied under the new system. Even prior to the new set of rules, Australia was already infamous for their strict content policies in video games, so the decision to ban the current version of Saints Row 4 is not really a surprise. By now you might be asking, what is it about the game that the ACB doesn't want any person in Australia to see? In a short answer, aliens. The ACB has cited use of alien drugs that give your character superpowers and an alien rectal probe weapon as reasons for the ban. Saints Row 4 publisher Deep Silver has said an edited version will be available in Australia, but there is no word on what exactly that will contain. And on the heels of the Saints Row 4 announcement, the ACB has also refused classification to popular Xbox Live arcade game State of Decay. This time, drug use is the main concern and will most likely be remedied by a patched version with different Australia-approved names for the drugs. As some may recall, this story would be identical to Fallout 3, which had some of the same problems and was fixed with changing drug names. The bigger question is, what will the fate of GTA 5 be, since the board has had such a problem with something in every iteration with the franchise since GTA 3, there's a good chance we will be hearing the ACB's opinion of the next Grand Theft Auto. But we'll have to wait until it's a bit closer to the release date to know for sure. Next up, Naughty Dog has gone on the record saying that the recent hit The Last of Us will not have a sequel and that Joel and Ellie's story is complete. Please note that there will be no spoilers on what I'm about to say so you can keep watching if you haven't finished it yet. Creative director for Naughty Dog Neil Druckmann said that the story told in The Last of Us is complete and there probably won't be another game featuring Joel and Ellie. However, Druckmann also said that the world is ripe for other stories and they are not completely ruling out a new story set in the world of the first game. There will be a story DLC for The Last of Us coming out later on, which is supposedly a side story as opposed to an addition to Joel and Ellie's journey. We'll have to wait to see what that is about before we can more accurately confirm or deny the possibility of a sequel. Finally, Indie Darling Limbo is making the leap over to iOS devices. If you still haven't got your fill of Limbo, you can now play it on the go on your iPhone or iPad. Developer Playdead Games ensures fans that it will be the original Limbo experience and that controls have been designed around touch devices. Originally an Xbox 360 exclusive, Limbo has made its way over to PC, PS3, and Vita, racking up over 3 million sales across those platforms. However, sales will no doubt increase with the move to Apple devices. You can get your iOS copy of Limbo for $4.99 on July 3rd. That's it for all the news this week. If you want to keep up to date with the pause screen, check out some of the links in the description below. So hit that start button and get back in the game.